A very good day to you people. My name is Mohitan guys. Today I'm going to teach you how to play sounds in your Flash projects. Okay, so let's understand the sound class in Flash and Action Clip 3. Guys, I've been teaching for a long, long time now, and this is one subject that uh, is not pretty clear in uh, the minds of uh, most of my students, and uh, they come back to me again and again. Uh, not that I, I don't teach them well but this is one subject that actually gathers a lot of confusion uh, that needs a lot of clarity and is uh, widely misunderstood or not quite understood so guys uh, this is a tutorial an attempt to make things clear and I'll really make it very simple for you guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play two sounds one I'll be uh, you know pulling out from the flash library let's do that so window common library sounds and then I want to get uh, in a, a sound that has rain, that has a rain, uh, you know, a weather ambience, heavy rain sound. So I'm going to pull that sound out and drop it in the library, guys. Okay, close it up. The other sound that I want to play is I'm going to import from uh, the desktop. There's a folder out there, and inside that folder, I have this uh, soothing music. And uh, okay so the the first sound was right inside the flash interface the second sound sound was lying uh, outside was an ex external asset guys both the sounds are uh, mp3 sounds guys I think the rain sound is too yes it is cool so guys what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play both these sounds using only action script 3 Give me a minute. Right. So, although I can just, you know, drag and drop the sound out here on the stage, but uh, I'll be using only Action Script 3 to uh, play both the sounds and then I'll be stopping both the sounds together. Let's see how this could be done. Right. Okay. Guys, the first thing that I need to do is uh, I need to do something which is called the AS linkage or action script 3 linkage before I can actually use it uh, through the action script so for the first sound I'm gonna say a right click say properties uh, select the action script uh, tab guys uh, this is because I'm using um, flash 5.5 it may be slightly different in the version 5 okay I'm gonna check mark uh, check export for action script uh, and then I'm gonna say um, I need to give a class name okay so I'm gonna say music out here and then I'm gonna say okay and uh, ignore the warning say okay once again and the AS linkage here is complete guys the AS linkage is now complete cool uh, I need to follow the same procedure for the other sound the weather ambience heavy rain downpour right click say properties select the action script button export for action script and uh, let me just call it rain just keep things very simple let's say okay ignore the warning okay now guys what's happened for both the mp3 sounds the music and the rain the AS linkage is complete cool now I can actually dig inside my actions panel and start coding okay guys I have layer 1 where I have this uh, text and uh, the other layer is AS3 layer that's where I'll be coding so I'm gonna say right click out there and let's start uh, scripting guys let's start using action script 3 the programming language that fla you know powers flash so it's pretty simple guys uh, the first thing that I need to do is I need to use the key name var because I need to uh, define a variable that will be holding the sound so I'm gonna say var and then I'm gonna say um, let's say sound 1 and make it equal to new music okay parent parent semicolon so if you remember music was the class name for the first sound and rain for the second sound so just by saying variable sound one is equal to new music now the variable sound one is holding uh, the soothing uh, music but if I test it now it will not play guys it's just the variable is just holding the sound but that doesn't mean it will play it so to play the sound you need to use the play method so I, I need to say sound one dot play parent parent semicolon test it now and the music should play so the so soothing music guys is playing now 
pretty pretty cool what if i want to play but not from the very beginning let's say after one second i all i need to say is uh, i need to pass in 1000 milliseconds now it'll leave the first uh, second and then it'll start playing so control enter to test so it left the first second guys so it, it did not play from the very beginning what if i need to loop it uh, twice all i need to say is uh, a, a comma and a two out here so the first argument was the starting point the second argument is the number of loops a control enter to test this is loop number one guys and that's loop number two right let me say I wish to play it only from the very beginning loop it twice but I would want it at a specific volume and panning only let me pass in um, a variable my volume that I need to define okay so let's see how I can actually control the volume intensity and the panning what I need to do is I need to create yet another variable and this time uh, let me call it uh, my volume and of the type sound transform guys and make it equal to new sound transform a parent parent semicolon so this uh, new variable my volume will hold the volume and also how things uh, will be panning so whether the left speaker will play all the sound or the right speaker will play all the sounds you know the music so I'm gonna say my volume dot volume so using the volume property guys I can uh, pass in a number between 0 and 1 or a fraction between 0 and 1 and that will decide uh, what should be the volume intensity so if I say I need the volume to be a, at a 50 percent that's the way I'll write it so let me do a control enter on the keyboard guys let's test it out and guys as you can hear that the sound is playing only at 50 percent intensity cool also what if I just wish that the sound should play only from the right speaker and not the left speaker at all I can use the dot pan property I can say my volume dot pan and then make it equal to one now that's the sound coming only from the right volume not the left the left will be completely dead guys let's test it out control enter on the keyboard all right I made a small uh, typo out here that's volume right test it again so guys uh, I'm sure most of you can actually hear the sound coming only from the right channel not the left channel cool and if it were minus one it would mean only the left channel or the left speaker the left headphone right and obviously if it were zero which is the default that would be bang in the center so both the sleeves you know speakers would play it correct but uh, do I actually need these two lines of script actually not I can just uh, comment them out like this and I can pass these two uh, arguments straight out here in the brackets I can say a point 0.5 out here I can say a comma and then I can pass the panning out here let's say the default zero and if I test it things are just as good guys cool let me then adjust the volume to full blast let me make it one let me keep things at default so the volume at one and the panning at zero that's the default guys All right now that we know how to play sounds guys let me play the other sound as well so let me create yet another variable variable sound 2 and make it equal to new rain okay All right and to play the other sound what I need to do is I need to instead of saying sound one dot play I need to say sound two dot play and everything else remains just the same do a control enter on my keyboard and test it out I'm sure guys you can hear both the sounds the heavy rain down pour sound the soothing music sound and of course my sound as well the third sound <laughs> right and uh, they should uh, do a tool you know they should loop twice so the first sound has actually finished its looping the second sound is a longer one guys that goes on and on now right 
so guys uh, we have learned how to import sounds uh, as an external asset put it in the library play it we also learned that windows uh, you know the the flash has a, a sounds library i can pull you know sounds from there i can play it and i also learned how to manipulate the volume i also learned how to loop the sounds um how to start the sound from the very beginning or from the middle of the track okay now let's see what if multiple sounds are playing and i need to uh, let's say two sounds are playing and i need to stop them both together yes we have a method here so uh, i i can say sound mixer uh, beg your pardon it should be a uh, capital s out here so sound mixer dot stop all a parent parent semi colon and uh, both the sounds should uh, stop together a control enter to test it so guys uh, neither the sound one or the sound two uh, play now so we we have used the stop all method sound mixer dot stop all parent parent semi colon uh, and both the sounds don't play usually this uh, sound mixer dot stop all uh, should be used in conjunction with a button uh, which will have an uh, you know event listener so you click on the button and the sound stop anyways guys so this was a, a, a small and a basic tutorial on uh, playing sounds in your flash projects i hope you liked it i hope you learned something from it guys uh, i'll see you very soon uh, you have a good time bye bye peace